I'm looking at the clock, it, it says 3.05, I'm not officially supposed to start till 3.15, now, now? I'm a union musician. Uh, I actually am a union musician, you know. I could get fined for carrying my own guitar in the door back here. But I'm doing this for y'all. At great risk, I carry my own guitar for y'all just so I could be here and get in the door on time. Because those union guys, they don't show up. If you're going on at 315, they show up at 314. I just ain't like that.
stick to my own songs. But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. I've looked around enough to know you're the one I want to go through time with. The secret of life is enjoying the passage of time Any fool can do it There ain't nothing to it Nobody knows how we got to the top of the hill Since we're only here for a while Might as well show a smile Secret of love is opening up your heart How does it feel to you? Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Just a lovely ride Forget about all these other dreams when it comes to holding you. Cause when it comes to holding you, I tell Jim Croce or James Taylor what I just did there. Come gather around people wherever you roam and admit that the waters around you have grown and accept it as such they'll be drenched to the bone and if time to you is worth saving you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone for the times they are changing now you writers and you critics prophesize with your pen Keep your eyes wide, the chance won't come again But don't speak too soon, you see the wheels still in spin No telling who that it's naming The loser now will later on win For the times they are a-changing Senators and congressmen, please heed the call. Don't stand in 
the doorway don't block up the hall for he who gets hurt is he who will stall and the battle outside is a raging it'll soon shake your windows and rattle your walls for the times they are changing and you fathers throughout the land don't criticize what you don't understand your sons and your daughters they're beyond your command and the old ways are rapidly changing they say get out of the way if you can't lend a hand for the times they are changing So this is an old classic folk song written by Bob Dylan. I think I've told y'all this before. They call them folk songs because, because they're for the folks. They're written by the folks for the folks. So that folks can use these songs when, when folks are going through all kinds of stuff and they they need these folk songs. And folks can take these folk songs and you can change them around a little to fit what, whatever's going on in your life at the moment, you know. People have been doing it forever. Folk songs. I figured this was a pretty good one, but I figured, well, you know, it is a folk song. And even though it belongs to Bob Dylan, it's a folk song, so folks are supposed to be able to change them around if you want to. So I took the liberty here of adding my own verse to one of Bob Dylan's songs. And again, I do this at great risk. I do this for y'all. So let's all just hope that Bob Dylan's folks don't call my folks and tell me they're going to sue the folk out of me and stop folking around with his song. But I'm going to do it anyway at great risk, at great risk. Come left and come right, come for all that you're worth. Come every color and kind on this earth We're the land of the free loaders Whining since birth Ain't it time we do some repairing Now nobody owns us No one holds the key And the temperature keeps rising With each disagree Tell me where do you think our children will be when the sun gets so hot that it burns up the sea and there's nowhere to hide and there's nowhere to shade in this wasteland of selfish mistakes we have made ain't it time we all start changing Oh, all right, that's about as political as I'm going to get. Don't, don't expect me to go any deeper, because, uh, yeah, I know, I'm pretty deep already, then. Nobody said being a folk singer was safe. You got to take chances and... Now, I mean, you talk about 
you know, that song talks about the, our country and everything and things that happen. I, I just uh, got back a few weeks ago from Scotland, and, uh, oh, man, I loved it over there. Uh, good people, the, the landscape, the terrain, the, the mountains, the ocean, the, the water, everything is uh, just like on steroids, it seems. And... Uh, or maybe because I was taking steroids while I was there, but anyway, it was really fun. And uh, I discovered a song over there, uh, became friends with a, a, a great fiddle player by the name of Paul Anderson. Um, he's actually one of the Queen's right-hand men. He's what they call a member of the British Empire. They give you a little medal, and uh, Paul, Paul gets to wear that medal around. And... Basically what that means is if the queen needs you, you got to drop whatever the hell you're doing and run and, and help her out. But uh, no, they, it's a great honor. And, uh, but I really, I stayed in a castle and it sat right on the River D, D-E-E. -E. And uh, we're sitting around playing some music one day and Paul Anderson played me this song. It's a song he wrote. And he came from a, a, a long line of old cattle farmers just like I did. I came from Oklahoma. We raised uh, Angus and probably some of our herd come from within a few miles of where we sat that day in Scotland. And uh, the bloodline goes back that far. But he played me this song about an old cattle drover that, that goes across the country. He's driving his, uh, his cattle down to Falkirk for the big sale. And uh, man, it just it felt so much like, uh, like home to me and kind of just made me feel uh, like I, I wanted to sing this song. So it's called The Bonnie Banks of D. And since I don't have Paul Anderson here from Scotland, I'm going to get another great fiddle player by the name of John Mylander to come out here and help me. Did you already do your set? Y'all got to catch John and his band uh, tomorrow night at what, like midnight or something? 12 30. So right after this set, y'all all go to sleep. And maybe you'll be up for his set tomorrow night. We're going to be in. No. Thank you. 
sat with me and we sang together. She spent the lee long night with me, her golden hair like threads of sunlight, eyes as blue as the pools of deep. Next morning we awoke together and we swore we'd meet and marry be. I held her close, I kissed her lips, then parted by the banks of deep. John Mylander. Oh. Paul Anderson, you made Paul Anderson proud on that fiddle, John. He would love that. Uh, just so y'all know, uh, while I was over there in Scotland, I I hired a, a, an engineer with a bunch of recording gear and he came into that castle where we were and, and we recorded a bunch of stuff and I recorded that song. So uh, maybe next, or in the spring when I come back, I'll have, I'm pressing up some vinyl because it seems like nobody buys CDs anymore. So that thing will be on there. Bonnie Banks of D. Isn't that a pretty story? When the larks and linnets, that's, that's the, another word for those little 
birds, I, I guess. When, when the larks and linnets fill the gloaming and the air hums with the honey bee. My old heart Darrells, D-I-R-L-S, Darrells, it, it kind of means my old heart quivers. My old heart Darrells, I hear it still, her singing by the banks of D. the map today I uh, I didn't know I was gonna have the pleasure of having John we've been trying to get together since last year when we were played here together and uh, we both been going different directions and um, <laughs> we finally settled last night we were texting each other and decided okay today at 315 let's meet up and so here we are Like when making 
conversation and you're trying not to scream and trying to tell them that you don't care what they mean and you're really feeling fragile and you really can't get home and you really feel abandoned but you want to be alone that's when you call friends they shine like diamonds oh friends you can always call oh friend Lord you came by you know it's old friends after all begins to fade and there ain't nothing to protect you but the window shade when it's hard to put your finger on the things that scare you most and you can't tell the difference between an angel and a ghost you better call old friends they shine like diamonds
and fight They stare at the world with all of their might While the ships bearing their dreams sail out of sight I'm gonna find myself a girl who can show me what life to me in the missing colors in each other's paint by number dreams and then we'll put our dark glasses on and we'll make love until our strength is gone and when that morning light comes streaming in we'll get up and do it again we'll get it up again I ain't doing another sad one. I ain't. Stay. 
should not gamble Because I can't, I can't afford to lose y'all Cause my woman would hang me She'd hang me from the rafters With the laces out of my own working shoes Everybody bad for my ain't brother, John Mylander. <laughs> Picking with you, brother. Love you. My ain't brother. I like that, don't you? There's a song about an old. Oh, no, hell, I'm playing the same song, just in a different key. This is a song about a, an old banjo picker. Everybody in Nashville loved this old boy. They called him String Bean. String Bean. They called him that because he wore his Opry outfit. was a big old long shirt. It went all the way to his knees and then his belt went around his knees and his, sh his, his pants were the only this long from his knees to the floor. It made him look real tall. He wasn't that tall, but he looked tall and skinny in that outfit, and everybody called him String Bean. And everybody loved String Bean. John String didn't believe in banks, though. And the rumor got out that when String Bean got a check from the Grand Ole Opry, he'd go, go cash it and then take the cash back to his little cabin outside of Nashville and hide it somewhere around that cabin. And uh, that was the story. And of course, it ain't nothing but kind of an amusing story until some bad guys get a hold of it. And these two old cousins, the Brown boys, they decided they was gonna go out there one night. While, while String Bean was on the Opry, actually, they went and broke into his little cabin. They tore it all apart and they couldn't find his stash. So they sat down on his naugahyde couch and they turned on his little radio and they listened to him on the Grand Ole Opry, waiting for him to come home because they weren't about to leave without getting what they came for. On Ridge Top, Tennessee, in 1973, the brown boys killed String Bean and Estelle. And the reason for it all was in the bib of his overalls. At least that's what the brown boys would say. Yeah, it seemed like easy money. But old String Bean would not tell. We would learn that was the point of no return. They shot him dead, and then they shot him still. That's his wife. 
Now there must have been one hell of a struggle for the cash in his big overhaul. Yeah, the brown boys said, don't give us no trouble, string. They said, we come for a little, but now we're going to want it all. That's when they shot him dead, and then they shot his stand. One, two, three. Just so happened that right across the road from String Bean there lived another old banjo picker. Another grand old Opry banjo picker. This old boy's name was Grandpa Jones. He wasn't that old, but when he put that makeup on and that old hat and them thick glasses, he looked like a grandpa, so they called him Grandpa Jones. Grandpa Jones and String Bean would walk out their front doors every morning and meet on that gravel road and walk right up the roadways and go fishing. Started off every morning fishing together. That's how good of friends they were. When he didn't see no smoke from the chimney, Grandpa knew that something was not right. Now it's burned evermore in his memory A picture of that dreadful, awful sight Oh, but then 23 years later When they tore that old fireplace down There was $20,000 that the brown boys never found. Oh, it seemed like easy money, but things didn't go their way. It was just a little plan to rob a banjo man, but he would not let go of his opry pay. No, he just would not let go of his opry pain. I, I wrote this song with Guy Clark and Sam Bush. I got a, yeah. I got a call one morning and it was Guy on the other end. He said, Berlin, get your ass over here. Sam Bush is over here. We're all going to write a song today. Man, I leaped out of bed and took off over there. When I got there, Sam was telling this story about cleaning out his dad's desk. He had just lost his dad not long before that. And he said, it's amazing the things you find stuffed in your dad's old desk. He said, way in the back there was a, a rolled up piece of newspaper. It was the front page from the Nashville paper in 1973. It was a picture of an auction. And the auctioneer was out at String Bean's little cabin. It was a picture of the auctioneer holding up String Bean's old overalls. Well, I ask you, is anything sacred? I do believe now I have seen it all. I read Old strings, overalls.
sitting around one day with Daryl Scott. We were talking about banjo pickers and such, and Daryl said, you know, banjo is really the only truly authentic American instrument. I said, really? I don't know. Uh, didn't the slaves bring it over? Because they had like gourds stretched with a skin stretched over it and some strings, you know, some cat gut. So we got to thinking about that old song, Old Joe Clark. And I said, I wonder, was Joe Clark real? And Daryl said, let's make him real. made his mark when cotton was the king and late at night beneath the shanty lights you could hear his banjo ring it would ring out for the masters listening on the hill it'll ring out for the babies all sleeping quiet and still and they'd say around and around old Joe Clark Round and around I say Round and round old Joe Clark will carry you away Round and around and around Round and around and around Round and around and around and around Round and around and around, and around. ship of slavery and he was clinging to his banjo but it was not on his knee and then someone said hey here's a strong one i bet you he could entertain they said we'll let you keep that banjo son but clark is gonna be your name they said round and round old joe clark round and round i say round and around old joe clark and we'll carry your ass away Just another hired hand And they'd say Round and around and around Play it, Joe Clark Round and around and around Round and around and around Round and around and around Oh! Thank you. 
so Joe Clark, he made his mark when cotton was the king. And late at night, beneath the shanty light, you could hear his banjo ring. All mud if I hadn't been riding on the Tennessee stud. The Tennessee stud was long and lean, the color of the sun in his eyes were green. Now he had the nerve and he had the blood, and there never was a horse like a Tennessee stud. Sweetheart's Paul, one of her brothers, was a bad outlaw. I sent her a note by my uncle Fudd, and I rode away on the Tennessee stud. I rode on out across Arkansas, I whooped her brother, and then I whooped her paw. And I, yeah, I whatever, on the Tennessee, whatever he did, he did it on the Tennessee. Well, the Tennessee stud along. Lean, the color of the sun and his eyes are green and he had the nerve and he had the blood and it never was a horse like a Tennessee stone as a man could be dreaming of my sweetheart in Tennessee and my Tennessee stud's green eyes turned blue cause he was dreaming of a so we loped on back across Arkansas that's when I whooped her brother and then I whooped her pa and I found that girl with the golden hair and she was straddle that Tennessee man yeah, the Tennessee stud was long and lean, the color of the sun in his eyes were blue. Yeah, he had the nerve and he had the blood, and it never was a horse like a Tennessee stud. Laying round the door mm, And I love that girl with the golden hair And my Tennessee stud loves his Tennessee man Don't you love a happy ending? Yeah, the Tennessee stud was a long and lean The color of the sun in his eyes were green He had the nerve and he had the blood And he never was a horse like a Tennessee stud Oh, there never was a horse like a Tennessee stud. And there never was a banjo man like String B. And there never was another banjo picker like old Joe Clark. And there never was a fiddle player like John Nyland. Well, I never wanted 
wanted to leave there. My roots were deep and strong. But it makes no sense to be where all good hope is gone. Now, Lord, if I die in this city, I pray, my soul, you will say, carry me back to the mountains and bury me in a hillbilly grave. Bury me in a hillbilly grave. that might have been but looking back is useless what's done is done my friend no we can't go back again and Lord if I die in this city I pray my soul you will say song I wrote with uh, my dear friend Sue Cunningham. That's the last song we wrote together. I know. 
You know, I, ne I never, I mean, she, she was actually quite ill when we sat down to write that song, and I don't know why, I, it, I, it never occurred to me that we were writing about a grave and dying and all that. And, uh, but I, I do know this, uh, Sue sat across from me playing her fiddle while we wrote that song and she played some of the most haunting, haunting, moaning, crying fiddle stuff that I've ever heard and I think it was, um, you know, I think she was giving it all she had for that last tune. So I'm, I'm really thankful and blessed that I got to sit there and uh, experience that with, uh, with that human being. She was one of a kind and we all miss her. Let me see. Gosh, I'm thinking what else we, we could play together that'd be fun, John. Anything would. Anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, well, why not? I don't know if we, did we ever play that needle in the grooves? I don't know if we played this together. I don't, never thought about having a fiddle on it, but hell. Just cause I ain't thought about it don't mean it ain't gonna be something good. There's a lot of things I don't think about. And they all turn out fine. They don't need me to think about them to, to turn out good. So call me one of the lucky few I've always done what I wanted to do And it started back in 1962 When I dropped the needle in the groove Well, all of a sudden, everything was clear The far away seemed so near I could go anywhere that I could hear When I dropped the needle in the groove I went to Bakersfield with the buckaroos I saw Memphis in blue suede shoes Folsom Prison, Tulsa time I went to Carolina in my mind I could walk the streets of Baltimore Or waltz across Texas on a wooden floor I was knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door When I dropped the needle in the groove Till I dropped the needle in the groove Oh, but then I heard all them singers all around the world Singing all them songs about all them girls And all that mystery soon unfurled When I dropped the needle in the groove I met Maggie May and Maybelline Hello Mary Lou, goodbye Norma Jean Lay down Sally, good night Irene and who could forget Jolene, Jolene, Jolene? To all the girls I've loved before, Michelle, my Sherry Amor. I wish they all could be California. I dropped the needle in the room. And they skip and crack But I hang on to my favorite stack I listen to them 
and it takes me back. You see, that's my life there on every track. That's why I'm going to press up some vinyl. So I can listen to myself. Drop the needle in the groove and hear Berlin. Well, we've come a long way from 78s and 45s and 8-track tapes and compact discs. Damn, I miss dropping that needle in the groove. So you can call me one of the lucky few. I've always done what I wanted to do. It started back in 1962 when I dropped the needle in the groove. When I dropped the needle in the groove. When I dropped the needle in the groove. the needle in the groove. I drop the needle in the groove. I drop the needle in the groove. I drop the needle in the I drop the needle in the back up and erase that part.
This old fiddle is an old heirloom It's been in the family since the crack of doom I was lost until I found This old hillbilly hand me down Yeah, it's an old hillbilly hand me down Ain't nothing like that old time sound Make many a square dance go around It's an old hillbilly hand me down It's an old hillbilly John, why did we wait for a whole year to get back together? We live about 10 miles apart. Damn. That ain't gonna happen again, brother. If I have to, I'll go track you down on the road somewhere and just rent a hotel close to where you are and we can just sit and pick a while. One more time, thank you, John Mylander, for playing fiddle with me. And seriously, if y'all can, go, go see his set tomorrow night. It's a whole different thing. His band is so, so cool. I mean, you might want to do some heavy drugs and <laughs> just close your eyes. That's, I'm not, I'm not condoning that. I'm just saying it makes you want to do that, you know, because it just feels good. It's just, it's just like free-flowing... Uh, I don't know how to describe it, John, except it's great, man. So, so don't nobody bother me, because I'm going to be sleeping till, from now till about 11.30 tomorrow night, so I can make the John Mylander show. Uh, let's see, man. Uh, Tell me, John, I was so... There's a lot of stuff going on out there in that big world, and I, what I want y'all to do, all I want to ask from you is just this feeling that we, that we got here at this festival and in this room this morning, don't, don't leave it here. When you leave, take it with you and spread it around out there. We need this kind of stuff. That's all I'm asking. Just. Just spread the good stuff, that's all, you know, because uh, I truly believe if we, if we just spread the good stuff, it can't be denied, because the good stuff is just more powerful than, than the bad stuff, and uh, if we just spread it around, we'll be all right. So, uh, yeah, I love y'all. Thank you for coming every year and, and letting me get up here and ramble like this and preach to you. <laughs> Well, 
Well, you know, we all been coming to this damn thing for so many. We better love each other. Because we, we spent a lot of time together. And if we didn't love each other, we'd all be fighting and doing all that other stuff that, that I'm talking about. So, yeah. Yeah, this feels good. Um, uh, now, if I could just figure out a... Well, hell, as long as we're on that... I don't think I know all this song, but I'm, I'm going to... I'll do what I know of it. That's always... Always makes you really look forward to what's coming up, don't it? When, when the singer goes, I don't know this song, or, but hell, I'm gonna do it anyway. You're like, honey, grab your purse. Well, let's get the hell out of here. secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do you well it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall You needed proof and you saw her bathing on the roof And her beauty in the moonlight, it overthrew you Then she tied you to her kitchen chair She broke your throne and she cut your hair And from your lips she drew a hallelujah Hallelujah folk song but I always like that the one he always did usually does it last and it's it says uh, what yeah yeah uh, uh, see. so I, I I did my best but it wasn't much I tried to feel and I tried to touch And I never, I never aimed to fool you And even though it all went wrong I'm gonna stand before the Lord of song With nothing on my lips But hallelujah Y'all sing it, hallelujah
thank you, John Mylander. I love you, brother. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I appreciate you. Thank you.